Hey guys, what's up? Jed here. Welcome to another video. I hope you're having a wonderful day. So in today's video, we're going to be solving linear equations with variables on both sides. So let's take a look at the first example. We have 5x minus 10, which is equal to 3x plus 12. The first thing you want to do is to eliminate one of the variables from either side. So you either want to get rid of this 3x or you want to get rid of this 5x. In my experience, and the best possible advice I could give you is to get rid of the smaller variable. Out of 5x and 3x, 3x is the smaller one. If you get rid of the smaller variable, in fact, let me show you what happens. Let's go in for this. So I wanna eliminate the 3x, which is the smaller of two variables, which is the first step I must take. So it's a positive 3x, I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. So minus 3x on the right, and I have to do the same on the left to keep things balanced. Okay. So 3x minus 3x, that leaves us with nothing here. However, the plus 12 has not been touched, so I'm just going to write it as 12. Since it's positive 12, you don't need to write plus 12 if, it, if it's on its own. And on the left-hand side, we have 5x minus 3x, which leaves us with 2x. Now we bring down the minus 10, and there you go. That's the first step. And if you look at it now, it just kind of becomes a two-step equation. So you've reduced a more complicated version of so solving a linear equation into a simpler version. Now, by taking away the smaller variable, you've positioned yourself to be dealing with a positive variable when coming to solving it, which is very, very helpful for you. It makes things much easier for you. And this will always work. As long as you get rid of the smaller variable, you always position yourself perfectly to execute the question in an easier way towards the end. Okay, so let's just quickly finish solving this question. It's a two-step linear equation, so let me just get rid of the minus 10 first, so it's gonna be plus 10 on both sides. All right, and now this gives us 2x on the left-hand side, and on the right-hand side, that's changed to 22. Okay, now we just need to detach the two from the x, so I'm gonna do divided by two, and the same on the right-hand side, divided by two, and the two divided by two gives us one, which leaves us just with x equals 22 divided by two is 11. And there's our answer. And it really is just as simple as that. The most important thing to remember is this. When you have a variable on both sides, you need to get rid of one of them. And we've just explained that getting rid of the smaller one puts you in a better position to solve the equation because it leaves you with a positive value at the end. You don't have to worry about fiddling about with the negative x. Okay, let's take a look at another example. Here we have another linear equation with variables on both sides. And if you remember the first step, it was to get rid of the smaller variable. So I know some of you are looking at this and you're saying, okay, 2x is smaller, but that's not the case. If you've seen from previous videos, the operation or the symbol to the left of a number belongs to it. So this isn't 5x, this is minus 5x. And if you think about negative and positive numbers, 2x is larger than negative 5x. Any positive number is always going to be larger than any negative number. So this is actually the smaller number here, or the smaller variable. And we want to get rid of this. So step one is going to be to get rid of the minus 5x, not the 2x. And that's going to be plus 5x to both sides. 2x plus 5x gives us 7x minus 6, which hasn't been touched. Uh, and then minus 5x plus 5x, that disappears, leaving us just with positive 8. Okay, and now we're going to add 6 to both sides. It's just become a normal two-step equation. Add 6 to both sides. And this leaves us with 7x on the left-hand side, the minus 6 and the plus 6 cancel out, and 14 on the right-hand side. Okay, we're nearly there. We just want to isolate the x on its own. We've got a 7 being multiplied to it, so we're going to divide by 7 on both sides. And this should leave us with x is equal to 2. And there's your final answer. Again, notice how I got rid of the smaller x, which in this case is a bit tricky because the actual uh, numerical value or the coefficient, the number in front of x, the left of x, is actually larger here. But because of the negative sign, um, overall it's smaller. And by getting rid of it, you can see we've put ourselves in a position to deal with a positive x to finally solve the question. And that's it guys, that's how you solve linear equations with variables on both sides. 
I hope you've learned something from this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'll be more than glad to answer them. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care.